A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In the ever-evolving landscape of romantic comedies, Netflix's latest offering, Nobody Wants This, brings a fresh and relatable twist to the genre. The series stars Kristen Bell as Joanne, a spirited sex podcaster, and Adam Brody as Noah, a progressive rabbi grappling with the aftermath of a long-term relationship. Their unexpected pairing at a dinner party sets the stage for a delightful exploration of love, culture clash, and the complexities of modern relationships. The premise of Nobody Wants This is simple yet intriguing. Can a rabbi find love with someone who doesn't share his faith? As Joanne and Noah navigate their burgeoning romance, they confront the realities of their differing backgrounds. Show creator Aaron Foster, who converted to Judaism, infuses the series with authenticity, drawing from her own experiences in a culture clash love story. From the outset, the series embraces the classic rom-com trope of opposites attracting. Joanne, a serial dater with a penchant for risque anecdotes, contrasts sharply with Noah, who is deeply rooted in his faith and community. Their chemistry is palpable, but the question remains. Can they overcome the barriers that their differences present? The show is peppered with relatable humor, including a memorable scene where Joe and unwittingly brings a pork platter as a gift to Noah's family, leading to an awkward but hilarious introduction. This moment encapsulates the show's ability to blend comedic situations with genuine emotion, as Noah's mother embodies the quintessential Jewish mother stereotype, adding another layer of complexity to their relationship. Foster's writing shines in moments that feel both familiar and refreshingly original. The series doesn't shy away from the cringe-worthy realities of dating, as seen in an episode where Joan watches Noah try too hard to impress her parents, complete with an exaggerated accent and a questionable sports blazer. It's a blend of laugh-out-loud comedy and painfully relatable situations that keeps viewers engaged. One of the show's strengths lies in its character development. Joe Ann is portrayed as a dynamic character grappling with her self-worth and the fear of not being good enough for someone like Noah. Belle's performance is both chaotic and vulnerable, making Joe Ann a character viewers can root for. Brody, too, brings depth to Noah, who struggles with the expectations of his community while trying to forge his own path. The supporting cast adds to the charm of the series. Justine Lupe shines as Morgan, Joanne's sister and podcast co-host, providing a delightful contrast to Joanne's more chaotic energy. Timothy Simons, known for his role in Veep, brings humor as Noah's older brother, creating an oddball dynamic that enhances the show's comedic elements. While the series tackles the central question of whether a rabbi can date a non-Jewish woman, it also delves into deeper themes of identity, faith, and the complexities of modern love. Noah's journey as a rabbi is treated with thoughtfulness, offering viewers a glimpse into the challenges he faces in balancing his faith with his personal desires. Yet, despite its strengths, nobody wants this is not without its flaws. Critics have noted an imbalance in character development, with Noah's world feeling more fleshed out than Joanne's. While the show introduces intriguing plot points, such as Joanne's aversion to religion and the potential conflict it could create in their relationship, these themes are often left unexplored. The series also grapples with the question of whether Joanne's podcasting career could pose a threat to her relationship with Noah. However, this potential conflict is not fully realized, leaving viewers wanting more depth in the exploration of their dynamic. Despite these shortcomings, the undeniable chemistry between Belle and Brody keeps the audience invested in their journey. Their interactions are filled with warmth and humor, making it easy to root for their relationship. The ensemble cast, including the charmingly quirky characters that surround them, adds to the show's overall appeal. In the end, Nobody Wants This is a romantic comedy that embraces both escapism and realism. It navigates the challenges of modern relationships with a refreshing perspective, offering viewers a delightful blend of humor and heart. As Joanne and Noah's story unfolds, audiences are left wondering if love can truly conquer all, even when cultural differences loom large. As the series continues to stream on Netflix, viewers are invited to join the conversation about love, identity, and the complexities of dating in today's world. With its relatable characters and sharp wit, Nobody Wants This is sure to resonate with anyone who has ever faced the challenges of love in a complicated world. That's all for this story. 
We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.